Let's make two different explosions inside Nomad. The first explosion will be a firework explosion. Start by adding a sphere, validate, subdivide once, and then with the mask tool, make sure it is set to grab dynamic radius instead of dot. Pick a dotty alpha such as this one, and then turn off symmetry and draw some dots on the surface. When you're satisfied, use the trim tool and trim everything except for the dots. Invert the mask, add a new layer. With the gizmo, scale up or down depending on how you want the explosion to look. You can adjust the layer slider to see the explosion effect. And don't forget to clear the mask. For the next explosion, we'll be exploding something into pieces. Add a new sphere and click validate. Then add a layer. Go down to the split tool. Keep fill holes turned on if you want it to explode like a solid piece, or leave it off if you want it to explode like a shell. With the gizmo tool, set the method to vertex. This way we can save gizmo changes onto the layer. Use the split tool to split the shape. Remember to tap on the part that you're splitting. When you're done, there will be multiple objects in your scene. With the gizmo tool, tap on each object and move it outwards to where you want it to explode. When you're satisfied, merge all of these objects with simple merge. All of the gizmo movements will be saved into layers. Merge these layers into a single one, but don't merge it with the base. Now you can use the layer slider to see the explosion. If you're not satisfied with the way one object moves, with the mask tool, tap on that object, invert, and then move it, and clear the mask. And that's it! That's two different ways to do explosions inside Nomad. Optionally, if you want to animate this, export the shape key into Blender. Check out my other video on how to do this.